clock, see? You got it, see? Okay, now, uh, go back. Let's review again, see? So then basically, you have this strip and this strip. Okay? Sometimes you attempt to strip it this way and you bend your wrist. See? Then you strip it that way. At that time, see, you still have that same one, see? You can lock them up over here. Okay? What? And then a lot of times, this is safe. See? So you move to this mouth, mouth the, uh, the forearm here, and then you can just take it here. See? You can be able to see. Now, it's not, it's not so important to learn every technique, but to get the essence of what I'm trying to explain to you. You create after the initial root technique. See? Because you might be planning to do this one here, and then he resists. And you kind of hit a shin. See? You just, just do that. You no longer follow that. It's no longer there. See? In other words, you, you're trying to hit a shin, then you just release it here. If, if this one fails, then you automatically put it here. If that one fails, you automatically put it here. Then that one fails, you put it over here. So there's kind of 360 every time the weapon fails to go where you want to do or have his body. In the meantime, every time you move this, you have to be aware of that weapon. See? Because he might see any line. See? You could take it here. Right? That would be any place that you want to take it. See? Okay. Okay, the point is now, we got this grip, we have this grip, or we bring it down here and we crank it. Now, in the event that you fail, because sometimes your timing is off, and maybe let's say you try this one here, right? That, and he won't go if he, he catches the energy. Whoop! Center back. He didn't pull out again. If you, at this point, you know, I'm trying to pull this way. He's trying to pull back. And you follow this towards bang! See, and then pull back. So you find out that that's very true. And any one of them. See, like when you strip here and you, you fail, see? Just give it right back, see? And then strip it. Okay? And any time it fails here, see, the bottom line is always taken into consideration, see? I myself always like to prefer to keep the keep the weapon rather than give it up. Okay, but then that's your own, your own preference. Okay, you want to try it? Okay, this is number two angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this one. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, this is going to be like a arm, like yeah. Yeah. One thing that you really know is that you really learn how to sombrale. In sombrale, we always try to hit the hand here. That's the basic thing. You really try to always bang the hand here, right? If my stick is held to see, it would be like that, see? Back, like that. See, that's the basic here. Okay? Whether you have your stick in that position, so that's one basic, the way you can practice, okay, with the, with the uh, long and short. Now, the long and short is the backbone of really, uh, what they say, is screaming in college. Because if you understand this, then you understand single stick. If you understand long and short, you understand double. And if you understand double, you understand single dagger and double dagger. And if you understand dagger, they say, you understand empty hand. Or you understand what the kick, what we refer to as the boxing or the kick boxing of, of, the, of the college. Okay. So we base, it's the only system where I, that I believe that starts with the weapon first and proceeds to the empty hand. Like they're saying is if you get away from the knife and the stick, it certainly you should be able to get away from the empty hand. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but it, it has a, it lends its uh, credence that uh, this thing moves a little bit faster than, than any uh, any fit. And when you knife train traditionally, you get used to the metal if the fist doesn't seem as, as menacing as it uh, as it appears to be. Okay? So I start off with the basics just, just to get the coordination. It's the backhand position, like this, see? And you make one backhand like that. Now, in reality, he's going to thrust here, see? But I evade, see? And I backhand. This is a coordination exercise, and I come back to the thrust here. Okay, and then I hit one inward, see? Okay, now, the basics is just like that, see? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five counts on the basics, see? Right? This will make sense later on. Okay, sometimes you stick, you're going to touch that over here, and you come back over here, see? Sometimes I make the one, two, three, and back up. But we're going to take the five basics here. Now, what does this mean? Usually when you do a rough block, right, you come back and you say you hit, see? Then your backhand, that would be your follow-up, see? That's what your back, your, your follow-up would be, okay? This will make sense. This gives you a chance to sit if you uh, develop this for you. You get the basic idea, okay? Right? That's the first part. This is what we 
referred to as his father Udada, what the Spanish called him when they came to the Philippine Islands. That's the back wall, I guess. If you have enough room here, just check out the Okay? That's your backhand like this, see? That's thrusted. See? After you miss each other for the training, see? Then the backhand comes out here like that, and then your left foot comes here, see? Like that. And then you come back out. Alright? Come back out like that. And you hit. Yeah, open that fist if you learn to take that second off here. Okay, that. your base drill. Okay, right now, then we'll develop it from there. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, follow up. These are follow up. Okay, and it's also used as coordination exercise, so you learn how to manipulate this at a diagonal line, this one at a horizontal line, this one at the midsection line, and this one at the horizontal line in the middle. Okay. That you want to get so it gives you a line of memorization. Okay, I'm gonna face this wall over here for a minute. Just stick behind me. This is like your head and stick in double stick. Once you go inward with this hand, back hand with the dagger, and back hand with the stick. So you try it again. Inward, back hand with the dagger, back hand with the stick. The stick, thrust, back hand, thrust with the dagger. Try it again. Six count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, heaven six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you do it the partner, it goes slow. It goes like that. Inward, backhand, backhand, and throw backhand like that. This is your coordinated exercise. Okay, now what's this for? If you go like this, see, it's a hand position, bang, see? Back over here and back in. That's what the technique is for. If you hit again, see, one, bang, hit, hit, back over here. One, two, be right here, bang, see? That should be one here, there should be one here, there should be boom, see? And then the boom should be over here, right? These are the coordination exercise, see? So you do it as a coordination exercise in the beginning basis, so like that, see? It's just like you're having a In reality, you would never click. See? In reality, that's a hand snap, see? That's a, and the knife should be right here. Boom, see? If I do that knife, see, I will try to cut him here, see? At that time, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to, how do you, I might try to hit that hand, or I might try to hit that, or that elbow, or that hip, see? That's why he has to come back here, see? I might have to try to cut this, I might have to cut that. That's when he sees that, he might just try to go over, over, and we that's the position here, then we come back here. So that's your heavy stick in the spadaga, or olisi barale as you call it. Okay? Okay, any questions? Because later on, so you're going to learn all these types of things. That's a hand smash and a release right now. And then you come back out like that, see? All right? Okay, let's try it. Now, you will read the sector, because there's a sector in here where the dagger comes in and where the stick is at the end, right? Okay? All right, so basically, we are going to do it Actually, you would make the snake from here, see? You notice how he domes out the other side? Okay? So that thing will come over here, see? And that should slash and be in frost over here, and this should give the action up here. Okay? Now, this will, there's a bunch of um, techniques that you're going to learn from, from this position. Okay? Now, now, we take it, that's in the flow. That's when the stick is really flashing, and you have to be able to read it. That's what makes the art good. See, the, the stick, see, this thing will travel faster than. If your wall the kick travels at 50 miles an hour, this kick will travel even in the hands of the beginner at 70. We already timed it. This, I mean, this is the beginner going. And when this guy starts working on this thing, you can get this up to 100 miles an hour. Easy. 100, maybe 10, 120, depending on, the, on your capability as a, as a human being. Okay? So you have to be able to pick it up. And this is what's good about it because it increases reflex. It gives that thing a reaction time. Right? Okay, now. We're going to take it and make it simple, because I'm not going to do it on flow, because it's kind of difficult. Okay, now, this one, stick over here, you have to zone away, because this next one is like that, see? See, no one, like, even a no one sees our like that, see? And they can go, you, you, no one feeds like that, see? This thing over here, it, it's a very fast art. A lot of it is luck, and a lot of it is gut. Because the knife is very hard to go again, okay? This is what I, why they call it the backbone of the Silicon Valley, because they're dagger trained before they're fist trained. So they learn to appreciate not getting hit. Okay, now, what you're doing while you're here is you, sometimes you want to capture the person, sometimes you don't want to capture them. 
But sometimes, the, in and it of itself, the snake is really not important, see? You see how he lifts that dagger up? Now that dagger, next line, can only come this way and this way. There are counters in this, every, every one of these, see? Well, let's say I draw it here, see? See how he lifts it up? See how he slashes? And then insert it into the thing like that. That's for control. He doesn't even have to do that when he's doing it up there if he doesn't want to, see? The funny feeling with a real dagger. With a, with a clean dagger, you don't feel any pain. <laughs> when this thing slashes your neck and then this thing is pushed in there about uh, even a quarter of an inch, you don't move. It's a very funny feeling. But then you need to, you know, that's, see what happens over here? You don't feel like moving. You, and in fact, you don't even want to let go of your stick. Okay, now the point I'm trying to bring out is the captain, at any point, he can slash here, see? At any point, he can go here, here, or here, see? At any point here, see, he could even slash here, here, thrust, thrust, L, the point, now to capture points, see? All right, now it looks like this hand can come out, see, but he really squeezes his bicep, see, he pushes it down in here, you can't get that knife out. And that thing is ejected into the face, but don't do it because it's a little kept back to the kid. See, that's what's going to happen, right? And you really have to stick that thing will be on the okay, And that will put you old, see there? See, I don't, I don't have a dagger. See, now if I take this dagger away from, from, uh, from cap, this principle of going like this should work in the same process, see? it's still the same thing, see? But we hold it here, you have to use a stick over here that will take out. Right? Even if I get them, sometimes a knife like this, see? that principle should still work, see? Right? That still will work, see? Right? Even if I take the dagger away and I give them nothing, if you can get past the, the shellacking of the stick and get in here, see, this principle will still work, see, empty-handed, see. So, of course, obviously, I'll be knee, kick, stop, whatever you wanted to do at this point, see. Right? See, it will work five different ways. It can work as, see, what they do, they train all the way from the staff of the spear, see. So you have to understand a little bit of the history of the Southern Philippines. They have never been conquered. Never been conquered. History books just bring that up. The Northern Philippines was was conquered by Spain in 11 short years, but the southern half, where the start is from, they have never been conquered. 377 years of Hispanic domination. They kept the southern Philippines away. The Spain paid them money just to fly the flag in some particular islands, but they themselves, because of the technology of, of their weaponry, have never been conquered. And this is part of it right here. It's, the technology behind this is very, very high, because there are counters to all, to all of these also. Okay? So right now, that's the first stage. See, that's your first snake. That's the snake king. Notice how he's invited it here. See, it doesn't matter whether I scoop at the high line. See, he's going to scoop here, see? Right? It doesn't matter if he does it at the low line. But he does zone away from this because this thing is very fast. See? see that's the hand position here. See? Okay? You got it? That's the first one. Okay, let's try to teach about 12 variables by the end of the week. Maybe 20. Maybe 21. <laughs> we'll just keep on going until... You have them all, okay? I'll give it a try. See the snake? That's a snake, see? That is uh, counterclockwise, see? See how it goes counterclockwise with the hand and traps it? Now this will go clockwise in the trap, see? All right? All right, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> this is really difficult. Okay, but anyway, what was that? <laughs> okay, he's gonna... He's gonna bridge. He's gonna bridge. He's gonna bridge. Okay. And then slash, and then you pull cue it through. Okay. And you see when you eject the pickup, you see how you lift it. That one will chip into the face. See. But after you chip it in, be careful when you chip it in. Pretty far. Pretty far. Pretty far. Okay. You do it again. Okay. See the stick right here. Okay, see, the, see how the, the, the bridge sort of comes down, right? See how you just sort of lift it here, and see how it just sort of, and then it slashes the neck, see? and then it's it inserted in there, and you pull your thing. Then you lift up your stick for the prime, see how you pry it. And that thing could chip over here, see? All right, is that the second variable? Okay, that is the second variable. Now, as soon as it hit, the stick is other stick comes underneath, and you can strip that. All right. Now that means only one dagger. You don't have to deal with this by locking it. You can just 
start blasting away, which normally, for security, most people would start to do. They start willing to sit. Okay. But for training, see, he goes right on the nerve here. Bang. Okay. This goes thrusting at the same time. He opens up his two fingers like that, and the knife is switch and out. At that time, you want to capture the stick is put like this into an arm bar. Okay. See, he doesn't even have to do that. See? He can take this, he can be done many ways. But when he does this, he can automatically just go switch, see? And then he puts on the back and back, see? Okay. All right, let's try it one more time. See, this is, there's not a variation from this. But when you come back over here, see, that's the first switch. That's the quick release. Okay, and then... One thing is, the, these are what they call capture skill. You already know in the, in the first place, right, if you did this, see, the knife, the stick could come out already, see. That's that all that is the training. Great. But when the training is, it's like a mini curriculum. Because see, when he did this like this, if you get hit with the stick, sometimes you go like that, right? You feel like coming back and the side of see. So this, in case this guy had the ability to take this hand smash, bang, and take this head snatch and still survive this, and then this thing can be inserted here, but one puncture, see, and he didn't affect them, and then, <laughs> bang, didn't affect them, see, this hand's over here cutting, see, and then they say he's still going, see, right, and then if it didn't affect them here, because sometimes they smash the hand here with the stick, see, but for training they keep this, and they strip it, see, put it here, and lock, see, but it's an overkill. I, and I always wonder why it's over here, because it's teaching you a mini curriculum in case, in case, in case, in case, in case, in case. So that's basically what it is. It's a small little mini curriculum that you're learning in, okay? This is the quick switch, see? And that is your strip, see? And then the diagonal comes like that, see? That goes in. 